Oh, he's come over. He's alerting me. It's been like one to two minutes. Good boy. That's a good boy. And of course, I always have treats next to me, so don't worry about that. <laughs> good boy. Hey everyone. So Corey and I are going to show you what we do for low blood sugar alert training practice. I have my low towels and my Corey, <laughs> and I have some treats. So I open my low towels, I'll hold it and have him smell it, and he starts alerting me. Good boy. Is that a yo? Good boy. Now that he's warmed up and sort of in training mode, I'll take my low towels and I'll hide them like in the top of my pants and under my t-shirt. So about 10 seconds later, <laughs> he started alerting me. What? What is it? Oh, no. Good boy. So now I'll say, end it, which means for us training is all done and he can go lay down or do whatever. And I'll put the towels away. I'll set a timer then for about five to 10 minutes. And once it goes off, I'll actually leave the room and go put the towels back in and like maybe in the bathroom or something and come back out and then see what he does. So we've sort of paused training for his brain. He's like, oh, okay, we're not doing training anymore. But for us, we're actually, for me, <laughs> I am still doing training because I need to keep him on his toes so that in case I do really go low, he still is in subconsciously thinking, okay, like there's a low smell, I have to alert her. So I'll show you how that works. So my timer just went off. I just went in the bathroom and put the low towels back and I'm laying on the couch watching TV and Corey is um, on his bed. So he was laying down and now he's gotten the scent in his nose because he's staring at me and he's like, something's up. I know something's up. So he's come over, he's alerting me. It's been like one to two minutes. Good boy. That's a good boy. And of course, I always have treats next to me, so don't worry about that. <laughs> good boy.